In our day-to-day -day world, there is one thing for certain. Certainty. We are able to predict the movement of objects quite accurately, and we are certain about their path. Let's use tennis as an example. If I set the ball machine's speed and rotation, I can easily predict where the ball will land. But is this certainty and predictability true everywhere? Let's shrink to the size of an atom. This is the quantum world. Here, we are not able to predict the movement of objects quite as accurately. This time, let's say we shot an electron. What would happen? Well, the electron's path would be uncertain, and we can only predict where the electron might be in its most probable areas. In our classical world, our tennis ball can have either topspin or backspin. In the quantum world, our electrons can have either spin up or spin down. But what if we can have both? In our classical world, when the tennis ball is getting ready to be shot, its rotation is basically in a static position. Both topspin and backspin at the same time just cancelled out. It is not until the machine shoots the ball that an observer can observe the spin of the ball. In the quantum world, an electron has both spin up and spin down when no one is observing it. When the electron is measured, it acquires one or the other. In our classical world, if we magically split our static tennis ball into two, we get two balls with opposite spins so that together they have a neutral spin of zero. Scientists in labs have been able to produce two electrons at the same time that have opposite spins if observed with specific angles. If you observe that electron A has spin up, you already know that electron B will have spin down. Now it doesn't matter how far these electrons are. If one electron on Earth is measured to have a spin of up, we automatically know that its entangled partner has spin down, no matter where it is. Quantum computing, cryptography, sensing, and teleportation are just a few possibilities. But it's not as easy as it looks. Environmental elements like temperature, noise, and electromagnetic radiation can easily destroy entanglement. But hopefully in the future, we'll understand both the quantum and classical world much better and make uncertainty a little less uncertain.